Hello and welcome to another video tutorial brought to you by Octotuts.com. Today we're going to be taking a look at how to make a YouTube channel background for the new style of YouTube layout. So for those of you who don't know, yes, there is a new YouTube layout. It's actually quite obvious. If you go on the YouTube homepage, everything has changed. If you go watch a video on YouTube, everything has changed. And even with the channels themselves, everything has changed within them. Now with the channels, it might not be as obvious at first because you actually do need to click a button. You actually do need to make the change yourself in order for everything to change to the new layout. So how you do that is you have to be signed in, obviously, and then you actually go on your YouTube channel. Now what I have right here is the old look, the old YouTube layout. Um, and how to change to the new one is you just click here. You're going to get this memo. It says click here to try the new channel's design. Click. And with one click, you're on the new YouTube channel. This is the new look. Now, with that being said, if you take a look at the actual background, that's what we're going to be making. There's some minor changes to the template uh, from the newest version of the YouTube layout to the previous version of the YouTube layout. So I will provide the templates in the video description below, um, but we're actually going to be making this from scratch so you guys can see how it's done. Now, as you can see, it is very, very simple. I'm not going to sit here and try to teach you guys how to make a really complicated YouTube channel background. Uh, the whole point of this video is just so you guys know the template, know the parameters and how to make it. And then you kind of just take your imagination and your skills and make everything yourself. Because if I was teaching you guys how to make some really cool YouTube background, then everyone would want to make it. And then everyone's YouTube will look the same, which kind of defeats the purpose of having a custom background. Also, as a side note, for all of the YouTube partners out there, I will be making a very similar tutorial to this, but for YouTube partners in next week's video. Um, if you're a YouTube partner, you do get a banner in the top area of your YouTube channel. So we will be making the banner, making the background, and even coding the banner to make it clickable. So if you're not subscribed already, then get subscribed. And if you are subscribed, then just stay subscribed for next week's video when we will be going further in depth into making a more complicated YouTube partner channel background. So with that being said, we're going to head into Photoshop, which is the program we're going to be using today. Uh, but for all of those viewers that are watching that aren't really graphic designers and aren't really experienced with Photoshop, I'll provide the link to a free version of a program like Photoshop. It's called GIMP. I'll provide that link in the video description below and you could kind of follow along the steps. They're going to be pretty similar. So let's open up Photoshop and let's get started. So now let's go ahead and click on file new and we're going to make a new image or a new background with a width of 970 pixels and a height of pretty much whatever you want. It just kind of depends on how long you think your YouTube channel is going to be. Um, I put 1,700 pixels just to be safe. Also, as a side note, the width is 970 pixels for the new background layout. Um, for the previous layout, I believe it was 960 pixels. So YouTube did make the center content area a little bit thicker for the new layout. So let's press OK. Now this white strip uh, that we see over here represents the content. So everything over here in the middle is the content of your YouTube. And then everything on the sides is what's going to show. So this white strip isn't going to show at all. We're just kind of using it as a guideline. We're going to double click on this background layer to unlock it and press OK. And with that being done, we're going to click on image canvas size. And we're going to change it from inches to pixels and make the width 1700 pixels. Now, also, the width does depend on what type of monitor that you have. You'll see on my monitor, because it's such a big screen, we're going to have a little bit remainder left. Um, so to be safe, you could do 1,700 pixels, which is what around most monitors are. Or we could do maybe around 2,000 pixels if you want to um, make sure it fits for all monitor sizes. So we're going to press OK. So now we have the white strip, which is the main content, and then the sides are empty, which is where all the stuff is going to go that's going to show on the background. So we're going to make a new layer. Command Shift N if you're on a Mac, Control Shift N if you're on Windows. And then we're going to drag this layer below the content layer. And what we're going to do is just fill this in with the paint bucket tool with the color black. But then we're going to double click on that layer, go into gradient overlay, and we're just going to mess with the colors. So the gradient on this one is going to go from a darker color to a lighter color. The light gray color I have already selected and ready. The hex code to this is 767676. I'll just press OK. And then the dark color that it's going to start off with is just a darker gray with a hex code of 505050. And then what I'm going to do is click on this one, the lighter gray, and just kind of drag it closer to the top. 
okay? And press OK, press OK again. Now what we're gonna do is add these stripes. So we're gonna click on File New and make a new image with a width of one pixel and a height of about 10 pixels and press OK. And we're gonna zoom in here and we're gonna double click on the background layer and press OK to unlock it. We're gonna select the eraser tool and just erase everything. And then we're gonna select the pencil tool which might be hidden under the brush tool. And then we're gonna select black and just color in or pencil in the top two pixels. Now, if you want these stripes to be white or another color, then you'll uh, color it in that color. But I want it to be black, so that's why I'm using black. And now what we basically did is just created one pixel, one stripe. So we're gonna click on edit and click define pattern. And we're gonna name this uh, stripe and press okay. So we're gonna go back to our background and we're gonna make a new layer, command shift N or control shift N if you're on Windows, press okay. And then we're gonna fill this layer in with black too. But we're gonna change this layer style to screen so the black isn't gonna show at all. We're gonna double click on that layer, head into pattern overlay, and we're gonna select that pattern that we just made. And now we have stripes. So nothing else needs changing for now, and we're just gonna press okay to that. Now what I'm gonna do is bring the opacity of this down to about 20%. And then we're going to click on this, uh, I guess it's a rectangle with a white circle inside of it. And we're going to add a layer mask. That's what it does. Now with a layer mask, we want our foreground color to be black and our background color to be white. And we're going to select the gradient tool and just kind of click from the bottom and drag it up. And as you can see, it kind of erases or makes the bottom half of it disappear. So we only have the top stripes and they fade down. And then just kind of keep playing with this until you like the way it looks. That looks good for me. And we're almost done. Now I'm just gonna click and drag this crown into the background. So if you have a logo for your YouTube channel or even if you wanna just put some text instead of the logo, this is a good example of where you could put that. Command T or Control T, uh, so I could tilt it to the side a little bit. We're gonna bring it out about that much and press Enter. And then I'm just gonna change the color to white. Now the last thing we wanna do is just kinda of delete this uh, white stripe in the middle. And we're done with the background. So we're gonna to go to File, Save As, and we're gonna save it to whatever you want. I'm gonna save it to my desktop as background.png. We wanna change the format to PNG, and press Save, and press OK. And we're done with the background. Now what we have to do is click on Edit Channel. We're gonna delete the background that we have right now. And then we're gonna choose a new file, desktop background.png, give it a second. And there is our background. And this is what it looks like. And so that's pretty much it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you guys learned something new. I will have all the links to the templates, to the Average King's YouTube channel, to pretty much everything in the video description below. Till next time, this is Octotoots.com. And stay subscribed for the partner video, the partner background video coming next week. See you guys later.